So uh, today's class, we are going to look at uh, simulation and animation of uh, dynamics using MATLAB for uh, mainly ordinary differential equations. How do you simulate ordinary differential equations and do their an animation? Okay, so very interesting uh, way we can do uh, very nice stuff uh, using MATLAB function called OD45. Okay. So before going to through this, like you know, so we need some representation of a system for the simulation. But I would say before going through this uh, part, you may um, look at actually uh, the MATLAB uh, help on ODE function. Okay, so for that maybe I'll show you first what it produces, and then like you know maybe we can come back. Okay, so in, we'll go through this. Uh, window and look at see this is a this is a command i have issued here help od45 and it gives all these kind of you know non steep differential equation and so so you just kind of read through all these things and then maybe we can come back and then whatever i'm talking here will make much better sense to you okay so let's come back here uh, so you can read through this help okay uh, you can pause and read through or you can have your own MATLAB uh, software and then and, and go through okay so um, let's come back now to the simulation here uh, or um, uh, PPT here okay now so for this uh, you can see now that uh, this uh, MATLAB OD function will be able to solve the ordinary differential equations which are represented in the in the specific form this form is like this where this this x here is a vector function and its only first derivative is here is equal to f of uh, xt and f is some general nonlinear function of x and t okay so and again this is a function of x as a as a state coming up here okay so whatever state it is a function of uh, it is giving the derivative of the state up here okay that is what is a uh, meaning of this uh, equation and uh, this uh, equation is what we need to convert all our systems to this form of equations and we will see how we do we do that by an example so if you have a system uh, of the kind simple uh, spring mass damper system so mx double dot cx dot and kx are the three terms is equal to zero. So this is not in this form, right? Because this has two derivatives up here. So we need to kind of convert to it to this form. We need to do something. So what do we do? Think about this. What can be done to get it into this form? Pause for a while here and see what comes to your mind, and then we can see the next. Okay, what we can do is we define this introduce this additional states into the system since this is double derivative here and I want only single derivative up here but many different kind of a, uh, variables can be possible so I define this additional variables here x1 and x2 are the two states they are defined such that you know when x uh, x1 is equal to x and x2 is equal to x dot so when I take derivative x1 dot, it will be equal to uh, x dot here and x2 dot will be equal to x double dot. Okay, and uh, that's how I can uh, get uh, this uh, state derivative here. Now I want to represent this state derivative in the in this form here. Okay, so I, how do I represent that? When I take x dot you can see that x1 dot is equal to x dot now I cannot use x variable because I have to convert I have already like to transform this system into these two additional variables so I will use now x dot I know is to be uh, defined as uh, is defined as x2 so x1 dot is equal to x2 will form my first equation and then x2 dot is equal to again this uh, this, this, this expression comes from this equation 
and here again I cannot use x I have to substitute them with either x1 or x2 which is done here okay so this is how I can get this uh, function defined so this is my f1 here in this equation and this is my f2 in this equation and this function is now ready for coding for doing the ODE sorting okay so now we'll see this uh, for apply applied for the spring pendulum kind of a system example okay so um, again the, the the ordinary differential equations we simulate uh, uh, which are which will come for this spring pendulum system i'll show you what these equations are in a minute but uh, just to give the settings like you know this is uh, uh, pendulum is considered as rigid body and it has its own uh, inertia of rotation okay about the z axis and uh, radius of gyration okay or mass moment of inertia mm, it will be coming from the radius of gyration is given as r so mass moment of inertia is m r square for this bob around uh, uh, cg uh, axis passing through cg and uh, z axis okay perpendicular to this page okay then the spring is uh, is uh, like uh, considered as a stiffness nonlinear stiffness why because typically like you know for, for actual example or actual practical case this can be a, a rubber, rubber like string and rubber as it stretches its stiffness starts increasing so uh, it has some kind of a cubic uh, nonlinearity which will be in increasing the stiffness as the stretching happens okay so that will that is also incorporated in the equations okay so uh, considering this nonlinear spring and uh, uh, important other thing is this l is unstretched length of this spring okay this unstretched length is l and then beyond that the stretch x is uh, deformation that happens with this kind of a setting the, these are the equations of the system that are opted okay so now you can see there are uh, two equations uh, which are second order equations so mx double dot like you no know, equation in the direction of this l uh, it moves like you no know, up and down like that here and then like you no know, there is a equation in the direction of theta okay so theta double dot direction okay theta is another kind of a degree of freedom so theta is a degree of freedom x is another degree of freedom and uh, you have these two degrees of freedom system with uh, two differential equations uh, governing that uh, dynamics now the question is how do we convert them into our form okay which you remember the form is um, x dot is equal to f of x and t so again now we need to define like a you know, new vector of uh, four variables so what is the variable of your choice here since we have these two degrees of freedom uh, x and theta naturally we we use them uh, in the and their derivatives in the in defining this vector okay in the similar way as we did for the simple spring mass system okay so theta double dot uh, theta dot we say as y2 variable theta as y1 variable then y3 is x y4 is x dot and now when if we see the derivative of this uh, state it is having like you know this uh, y1 dot y2 dot y3 y4 dot now y1 dot by definition is theta dot here and theta dot by definition is y2 so this becomes y2 mm -hmm. like that the y2 dot by definition becomes theta 2 double dot theta double dot and y3 dot becomes y4 and y4 dot becomes x double dot now this theta double dot and x double dot can be obtained from these previous equations of dynamics that you saw here these equations of dynamics this will give you the x double dot and this equation will give you theta double dot okay so how do you obtain then by using uh trans like you know, moving all these terms on the other side and then dividing that by m we'll get x double dot moving all these terms on the other side and dividing them by this uh, this term we'll get theta double dot okay and then uh, we substitute them here and like you know our our function f1 f2 f3 f4 is uh, ready for simulation in that lab now how do you code them okay so this is first function first like you know you have to code this function and how to use this function in the od45 command is what we'll see actually on the on, in the program okay so uh, clear for so so now uh, how do we develop this code so i would suggest like you no know, you don't see this code first you just 
go ahead and like you know, write your own way this code uh, assuming that this state is given this vector is given so if uh, there is a function f we have to write for which the arguments are, are t and uh, y so you are you are given y as a vector quantity that's we have to keep in mind that okay it is coming in argument as a vector quantity and then you you know this y1 y2 y3 y4 and from this you need to produce like you know their derivatives y1 dot y2 dot y3 dot y2 y4 dot by using the this 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 part and these equations as we explained okay so this is how you will write a code and once you write a code then so pause it for now here write your own code and then like you, know, you come back then you'll find like you no know, if you are making any mistakes or your understanding is missing somewhere that will open up like you no know, that becomes like a you know, firm understanding within you so don't like you no know, go to the next part unless you have written the code yourself okay now we'll go to the next slide and see this code okay so uh, here now i'm uh, defining all these terms in some kind of a fashion whatever uh, some kind of a physical quantities and then writing like so i am assuming like you know that in for this function y is coming as an argument uh, in vector form so y1 y2 y3 y4 will be my four states y of 1 y of 2 y of 3 and y of 4 like that and then so this like you know this is how it is used here and then i need to produce a derivative so dy are the second derivatives of these states so dy1 is equal to y2 dy3 is equal to y4 and dy2 is a as i explained from this formula now you wherever there is a theta you substitute corresponding y and then uh, you can kind of get uh, your equation coded okay uh, so this is the equation for theta and this is a theta double dot and this is the equation for uh, x double dot okay this is how like you know you write this code and this this function ends here once this function is written now let us uh, see how we can go ahead and simulate it okay so let's switch back to the to my lab window now here we have this function written in MATLAB. I'll show you already written function here. Okay, so this code uh, gives you the function written as as we have seen in the slide. Okay, and uh, now uh, you can see all these arguments and functions uh, written properly, and uh, you can write whatever com comments and things you want to write. Okay, how do you use this function? Now, once you write this function, then like save it. Uh, you use it in the ODE command like this. So for ODE command, you need to define uh, uh, this uh, initial conditions. The initial conditions in this case are taken theta is equal to minus pi by three, and uh, x some deformation is given to the x to begin with. Some some uh, spring is deformed by some amount. And then uh, time is defined for which you want to produce this output. And then uh, you can see that this time and initial conditions are going as uh, other arguments to this ODE45 function along with the function that you have written. So this will output the state evolution, okay, uh, y in the same order, y is in the same order as you have coded in this function. It will be output here and then time will come uh, as a so this is like a time trajectory of, of all the states that is uh, coming up here. And then uh, you have the animation creation up here. So you, you define, create some figure and in that figure you draw these lines and uh, this bob of the pendulum is drawn as a simple point or circle with the size of the circle big enough for, for us to visualize it nicely. Okay, so that is how like you know, these this two, this, these things are plotted and uh, you plot it delete the plot and again replot it for like the you know, next uh, update of the time like that you can do in a loop and like you know, create this animation there are many different other ways also of creating animation you may find some some more links on the on the youtube or or on the matlab website and uh, you can create different different kind of a ways when animations can be created so if you run this uh, file now you will find it produces this uh, nice animation of uh, a pendulum okay so you can see that this pendulum uh, is uh, is uh, oscillating and at the same time it is having the vertical or um, you know the radial direction stretching and unstretching that is happening for the for the spring 
okay so say of course here we are not modeling um, it as a string so for example like now if the if the compressive force becomes too high like the string cannot get compressed okay but spring can get compressed so if it is a rubber band like a string then uh, it will just simply not get compressed further but we are not uh, like you no know, capturing that part here so if if the spring force is always positive like uh, or there is some stretching in the spring always there then you'll have uh, no issue like this will be a realistic kind of a simulation happening in in the, in the system okay then i would like to kind of give uh, give a little bit more attention to to this uh, other uh, let me close this window uh, part of the files this latex.fig is a file that uh, is written for setting the global uh, variables of a figure that can be controlled in a nice way so as to create a figures which are good for the latex document or their manuscript or papers that you write no so this uh, file will be of immense help if you run this file then and then use figure command in matlab to plot any or plot command in matlab to plot any figures then uh, all the settings will be done nicely for say a latex kind of a document okay and uh, you have other file where ppt underscore pick kind of a name is given uh, this file when you run uh, and plot your um, uh, any of the figures then this will create a setting which is good for powerpoint presentations okay so you may use this uh, files uh, in a in a way to for your future activities as well uh, this is very interesting a nice way to kind of create uh, environments for you and you don't have to worry about like you know, somebody pointing that okay oh, your pixels are looking so small i cannot see them and all those kind of things will not come into picture when you start presenting uh, with this uh, using use of these files okay so um we'll come back to our presentation now uh, we are here so one more case we need to discuss here before we close is uh, you know the case of uh, systems where you have the coupled dynamics coming up here a uh, coupled in the sense that it has a, a double derivatives coupled okay so you have this d11 q1 double dot and d12 q2 double dot coming in the same equation okay so so far we had systems where like you know, only one double derivative was there in one equation so there are now these two different quantities double derivatives are coming how do you handle such case okay so how do you basically now represent the system in the form that is required for the um, ode solver to have like you, know, you remember that form uh, the vector x dot is equal to f of x and t okay so we want to kind of get the system in that form this other quantities will not bother us because they are all as uh, coming as q q dots only okay there is no any double dot terms uh, anymore here okay so how do you handle such uh, is how do you do what do you do how do you transform think about that okay and then you go to, go to the next slide you pause here and then go to the next slide okay now here what we see what we do here is basically uh, convert this system into matrix form okay this is like a matrix vector form this is a matrix here this is a matrix here the g is a vector of this dv by dou v by dou q 1 and dou v by dou q 2 okay so that gv forms a vector tau is forms a vector of tau 1 and tau 2 so what we do here to get q double dot as a isolated like a vector here q double dot consists of q1 double dot and q2 double dot so this d matrix that is multiplying here so we need to transfer these terms on the other side as we did for other cases also but now instead of dividing we take a inverse of d d d matrix here so dq this is a typically function of uh, variables of a system not a dot variables like you know not q dots here only q uh, so this dq inverse multiplied with uh, your uh, transfer terms here these are now forming a vector here so that will give us q double dot and once we obtain q double dot our job is easy for us to kind of code this for the for the ode solver okay so you go through like we can solve such as examples also then very easily so with these we can solve 
if you n degree of freedom uh, robotic manipulator equations and simulate them um, uh, in in matlab for whatever purposes uh, you know dynamics and control purposes that you want okay so this is how like you know this leads you pathway for like the multiple degree of freedom system simulation by using ode for by solver there are a high, like you no know, some more issues that may come up regarding similarities or or some some cases where your slopes are uh, very high okay or your derivatives are becoming very high uh, those cases we need to handle separately to make sure that you know there are some kind of other solvers called stiff solvers uh, that can be used or so these are like that is a kind of a future pathway for for uh, for us to uh, get to Uh, for now you can like look at uh, many different parameters that ode function gives you to play around with and change uh, to uh, you know look at uh, set setting different settings of uh, solving okay so you can play around with that that is all given in the matlab help we'll not get into that here but that is a kind of a forward path to look for okay so you can also see the demo of ode for fine matlab and like you no know, see uh, play around with different things in the in the in the ode function to get a good grasp of like you know what you want to do okay so we have already seen the animation code so we'll stop here for now and uh, you enjoy uh, coding with uh, this uh, background many different systems and um, assignments and things like that for your future research also this may be of quite intense help okay So thank you and bye for now we'll stop here